quite often when you're machining a component, you need to do several setups so we can machine from one side and another. So I've got uh, my component on the screen here. And what I've got is I've already produced a setup that machines the top face. So what I want to do now is do a setup that will do the other face. So we're going to flip it over or use a five axis machine. So to do this, very, very easy. We're simply going to click on the setups button at the top here. And it's going to open the dialog and we can name that setup whatever you want to put in there. But we can also set up the X, Y and Z axes and also the uh, date and point where we want to start. So what I'm going to do is say rather than align to the stock face, I'm going to align to the geometry that we've produced already. And I'm just going to tell it that my Z direction is going to be on this axis here. And also my X direction is going to be along this edge. So anytime if you've missed a click like I have here, you can always go back and say, well, actually my Z axis is going to be along this edge here. And you can see it aligns your axes for you automatically. So once we've done that, we now need to pick a location. So we're gonna have a zero, zero point, and I'm simply gonna pick on this top corner here and it will realign the uh, X, Y, Z axis for me automatically. So once we've done that, we can now use the automated features. So we're gonna use the feature recognition so that we're going to select the features from this component. And we only want to apply this to setup three, which is the setup we've just produced. Click on the next button and it's going to give us all of the features it can find. Now, at this point, we've got control over what we want to machine and what we don't. Now, we know we've done the holes from the other side. So even though we've got the feature there, we can choose whether we want to use those or not. So we're just going to take those out. And if we click on one of these, you can see a preview of the actual machining operation. So we've already done the other side, so I'm gonna take that off so it just does the top face. Hit the finish button and we're effectively ready to go. So I'm just gonna run my simulation and we're gonna see, we're gonna do the top face and also the bottom face. If I just slow the animation down a little bit so we can see what's going on a bit easier. So there we've got top face being machined on our first setup. Then it's gonna flip over and we're gonna do the other side automatically. So once that simulation is done, we can also choose how we export this data. So if we uh, go to our stock and we're just gonna double click to edit it. And when we go to our indexing tab, we can choose whether we want to use four axes or five axes, or we can go for no multiple axes, but we want to generate a stop between each of those setups. So you can rejig the component in your machine. So we'll apply that, click okay run the simulation just to make sure everything's okay. And then we could simply go to our results and export the code directly.